Hello again, fellow gears. What's up? <laughs> it's Maticom bringing you another speedrun tutorial. This one is on Forge Blitz, the Vista spawn. While this loads up, I need to give a huge shout out to all the buddies who helped me with this tutorial. And that would be Dr. Schwazi, Grizzled Hulk, Morris, Pro Hitman 1942, Quiet Non, Dr. Power X, Lolly Force, Big in the Game, Sniper Legend Mike, Slaughter 00, Shane73. Thank you all very, very much. There is one main spawn and one tiny weak overflow spawn on this map. Um, there are four stationary required spots as well. Uh, we go in with the typical setup of one scout, one sniper, one engineer, and two siphon soldiers. And the main spawn is going to be the opposite versus spawn down here. And this is pretty much everywhere that they're going to spawn here in the Verses, all through here, and also in that corner there. Your soldier on the right side is going to take the right half of the spawn where he plants, and then you always want to make sure you have a grenade here each wave, because this is a dominant weak spawn. Having the grenade there just keeps it in check and uh, whenever anything does spawn there. The soldier on the right spot to stand is going to be right up here, right here. And the other soldier is going to plant the left side of the spawn, which is going to be through here, as well through here, and this corner over here. You always want to make sure you have a grenade in this corner, that because that is a spawn point. If you try to block it, it seems to odd spawn out. So you can have a grenade there on the floor or there on the wall, and it will take care of it. We also have a sentry that we put uh, just shooting in this corner, because it can be that active sometimes. Um, the soldier on the left spot to stand is going to be right over here. Now as far as your scout goes, um, their spot to stand is going to be here. And your engineer spot is going to be right over here. And basically being here, you're shutting down the spawn there in the ammo crate room, as well as reducing the overflow spawn through there. Speaking of overflow spawn, um, this is one you might only get two, three a game, if that, sometimes. We just put one sentry there, um, and it takes care of it. Uh, and there is one other super rare fluke spawn. You might not get anything throughout the game, or you might only get one or two spawns, and that will be by the soldier here and there. Um, the soldier can kill it, or we just call it sniper strike, but it's definitely not enough to warrant a sentry. So, as far as the boss goes, um, if you pull a Kestrel, he will spawn typically, usually right there. Carrier, Swalmac, or Snatcher, that's one of four boss spawn points on this map. We push them to this spawn point here, and we line up a decoy here. And the soldier that is right here fights the boss and kills him there. So, But in order to guarantee the boss does push there, there are three other boss spawn points um, you need to block the grenade or fortification. The first one is being right here behind your scout. The next spot for the grenade or fortification to push the boss is going to be here. And the last spot for the grenade fortification will be behind the f where the fabricator goes. Definitely don't want the boss spawn in there and your sniper. But that spot is going to be there. And with those three other spots pushed, um, like I said, pushes it to that soldier over there. Alright, uh, I'll go ahead and now show you the fabricator location. It's not really a terribly picky fabricator, you just want to make sure that the, uh, it's not too far forward from where I show you, because, uh, you can get first spawn spawning behind you, and definitely don't want that. We line it up to that, uh, side there. This goes right about there, and just a hair back of the tile square there on the ground. 
And with that, that is the Forge Blitz uh, Vista Spawn Basic Tutorial. And I have map overview, boss footage, and everything coming right up. Here is a map overview of the spawn. Another map overview. One more map overview for you. Here's something that uh, I love doing on speedruns, and that is shooting drop shots, boom shots into the spawn, getting kills, uh, makes speedruns that much more fun, and of course, that much more efficient and makes it go quicker, obviously. <laughs> Definitely good times. Here is a basic setup overview of what I do when I engineer this. Uh, pretty simple, nothing experimental. Um, to 10 total sentries, including the overflow sentry. Um, first setup of 1413. You see that corner there? That's that kind of a dominant, uh, weak spawn that we just keep, you know, two sentries pointed at, and a soldier keeps a grenade there. Um, each wave, so when it does come out, uh, the sentry just take care of it. Get you a view here of uh, some of the carnage in action. And this sentry right here is also a boss pusher, so and if it hits that corner, so kind of double purpose there. That sentry is aimed for that corner as well, and then everything else is in the spawn. Um, and you'll notice over here on the right side, there is a sentry in the corner. That's that corner spawn that it just seems if you try to shut that down that they all spawn out. So we just kind of contain it. Um, also using three barriers as well with the setup. But uh, as you'll see, um, very simple to maintain as an engineer. Plenty of time to, to get both sides done. And then here's that corner sentry, which I take that sentry to level 4 uh, once we hit 4 just so it can deal with that uh, spawn. Because sometimes on GB waves that can really light up. And this boss pusher I usually also take up to level 4 just to help out on that corner. So, And it shoots into the spawn a little better. One more quick view of the carnage. Here are some boss waves for you. Uh, we push the boss over to the soldier that is by the furnace to fight. Here's another boss wave for you. I uh, just want to showcase that uh, even if you're the engineer or whoever else far away with the drop shot, you can still get in on the boss action. Another boss wave for you. Uh, I can tell you that as far as the Kestrel goes, it is my favorite boss to pull. Love fighting the Kestrel. I do not fear it. I embrace it and enjoy each and every opportunity I get to kill it. One more boss wave here for you. And I've said it many times, killing this one Mac with a drop shot never gets old. It's always fun. But with that, that is the Forge Blitz Vista Spawn speedrun tutorial. It is a great, great fun run. Definitely worth it. Uh, enjoyed, everybody. Thank you.